In this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new SU Animate feature of nesting groups so that you can have two motions, like a wheel rotating and moving forward. The first thing we'll take a look at is the group. You need to group an item, and in this case I'm calling this tire the inner tire. And the next thing I will do is create an animation path. This circle it becomes an anima animation path. And let's take a look at its properties. I'm making 25 frames. I'm going to repeat it so that it can, t can rotate continually. And the component to animate is the inner tire. And we'll say OK. Next, what we'll do is bind, quote unquote, bind the animation path and the group together to make a new group or a component. We'll make group, and let's take a look. I'm going to call this outer tire. So I've combined the inner tire group and the animation path into outer tire group. You can take a look at this by looking at Outliner in SketchUp to see that the inner tire is a group inside the outer tire group. The next thing I will do is create a new animation path for the outer tire. And this will be a forward motion uh, path, just a single line with 50 frames. And the component group to animate is outer tire. I will have a camera target, which will be also the outer tire. So the camera will stay focused on the outer tire as it moves forward. And there is one important rule. It is do not nest the nested groups into another component or a group. And now let's take a look at this animation. Let's do a preview. See the tire is rotating and moving forward, rotating and moving backwards. And that's how nested groups can do two motions.